Hello everyone, so welcome back to our channel. So thank you so much for all the subscribers that we have. And here's the new video. It's all about solving quadratic equation in the quickest and easiest way. We've uploaded a lot of video about solving quadratic equation or trinomials like different methods. We have factoring, completing the square, and using the quadratic formula. So those methods are applicable if during the assessment or major test, they, um, you are not allowed to use any calculators. So in short, today we will have the quickest way and easiest way. This is a trick okay, for you to find the zeros and factors or the value of the x-intercepts and also the solutions for you to solve the quadratic equations or trinomials. Okay, so let's proceed. So in here, credit to the owner of this activity, solving quadratic equation, solve each equation for x. And, and those x are also the zeros, the x-intercept, the roots, and the solution. As I mentioned, we call them in different terms, but they are just the same. And then we're going to look also for the factors. Remember that factors are different in zeros, okay? This is the shortcut or the quickest one how to solve quadratic equation. So you may use other graphing calculator like this, the Desmos graphing calculator, okay, for us to solve the quadratic equation. So let's start with number one, negative two X. Okay, there is a keypad in here. You may hide it or you may also show it, but I frequently show it because I'm using the square in here. Since there is no square on the keyboard or keypad, on the laptop that I am using right now. So we have negative 2x squared. Just click this one. This is the square. Plus 9x plus 29 equals negative 6. So there you go. In here, the parabola, This the graph is what we call parabola. Uh, it is a sad face because the numerical coefficient of your quadratic term is negative. But take note, in here, it says that we will just look for the x values and this now are the x values okay these are the zeros or yeah these are the point that touched by your parabola on the x axis so we have negative 2.5 and 7 so let us write them in here so we have the first value of the x so we have x is equal to Okay, negative 2.5, negative 2.5, and also x is equal to 7. There you go. Those are the x values. Don't forget the negative. Let us clear this one. It is negative. So these are the zeros. Now to find the factors, we will, frequently we are using a parenthesis in factors. So don't forget the parenthesis. Moving this one on the other side, so we will write x. Okay, so x, when you move this negative 2.5 on the other side, it will cross the equal sign. Don't forget to change the sign. So it will become positive 2.5. Likewise, in here, we're going to move 7. So from positive 7, it will become negative 7. So those are the factors. See, very easy. You don't need to, um, you don't need to use algebraic steps. However, as I mentioned, during the major assessment, it depends on the rule if they will allow you to use a graphing calculator. But if you're doing an assignment, you may just confirm your answer using a graphing calculator. Next, we'll have number two. So for number two, uh, just cross this one out. So we have again negative x squared, negative x squared minus 2x, minus 2x plus 7 is equal to negative 17 okay so just click but uh in here again the quadratic the parabola is a sad face because the quadratic term is negative but we're just looking for the x values for the zeros root solution and uh, x intercepts 
So we have negative 6 and positive 4. So we'll just write our answer in here. The difference between zeros and factors is the way we were going to write them. Zeros or x-intercept solutions are always written in the form of x equals something. So we have x is equal to negative 6 in here. Don't forget the negative sign. And on the other one, we have x is equal to positive 4. There you go, there you go, there you go. Very easy, right? And then for the factor, so we'll just write x in here, moving the negative 6, it will become positive 6. Take note of the difference of zeros and factors. I will always tell you this one. And then moving forward on the other side, we have x minus 4. And that's it. So as I believe in mathematics, there's no retention in learning if you will not apply what you have learned for today, for this video. Okay, please answer number three through 12, through 12, number three through 12 using a Desmos graphing calculator or any graphing calculator that will help you. Okay, from number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 for your application. Um, if you will answer those remaining items, I am pretty sure that you already know how to solve a quadratic equation. That's all for this video and hope to see you guys again on the next video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and thank you so much. Enjoy while learning. Bye-bye.